If you want to design and create the networks at the heart of a country, like roads, bridges, dams and harbours, then civil engineering might be for you. Chartered civil engineer Rishmila Mendis started her work experience on several bridges in London. I do like bridges. I think they're um, fascinating structures and they're quite individual with uh, characteristics of their own and um, just fascinating how, how they're made to work. I first started working on bridges during my summer vacations from university, so I did a four-year course. So all three summers I worked with the same company and they were involved with a lot of bridges. And I was involved in uh, general inspections of their bridges on the Thames. So that would, that would uh, incorporate travelling in a boat and going under about five bridges uh, for the general inspection. And then for principal inspections, we'd actually go into the bridge just to look at the general condition of the bridge and then file a report and send it off to the client. You do get to see the secret life of the bridges in terms of um, going into the towers, let's say of Tower Bridge, you can go inside there, or where they raise the bridge, you go into the bascule. So it's quite nice, you get to see lots of different things, parts of the bridge that you wouldn't normally. I guess the, the best thing about engineering is the, just the, the variety of work. I mean, there's, you know, you've got bridges, structures, airports, um, roads, uh, just it's so, it's so wide and so varied and you can obviously specialise in, in whichever field you want. My work experience with Atkins has been quite varied as well. When I first joined, one of the first things I looked at was the foundation design of a tower that was to be built in Bangkok. Following that, I then did some surveys of Waterloo Station, looking at the concourse and arches local to the station. I then was quite lucky to be seconded out to Dubai for about six weeks, working on an aqua park. Basically, that, that was very good. I was checking um, drawings and dealing with technical queries and designing elements such as masonry walls and staircases. And I actually went during the winter, which is about 34 degrees, but it was actually the best time to be there because I think they've got all the events on. So you've got the Dubai Sevens, you've got the powerboat racing, I think the horse racing, cricket. So it really was a fantastic time. <laughs> Being a female in civil engineering is, is sort of quite a novel idea. I think there's about 10% um, of engineers are women. Um, and there's no real disadvantages. It's, if anything, it's kind of... Um, I think women can offer something different to engineering. Um, I think companies have actually said, sort of directors of companies, you know, looking to recruit women. Just to bring diversity to the workplace, really, I think it's important. When a new building or bridge is constructed, then everybody always thinks about the architect. I think the, the media like to talk about architects. But for some reason, I think engineers are quite modest. And even though architects do do, a, you know, is their perhaps concept. But in terms of bridges, sometimes it is actually engineering companies that, and civil engineers that design those bridges. So I think we need to maybe bring that more to the forefront and people to appreciate that. That, you know, civil engineers do do some good, clever design and get things to look good and stand and work. <laughs>